You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 7, verses 21 to 29. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then, I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine, but does not act on them, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. And it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, The crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. Have a delightful day to one and all. Matthew opened today's reading with a cold, sober warning from Jesus when he said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. These words of Jesus evoke questions like, Is Jesus directing his warning to regular churchgoers who spend days on end praying their favorite novenas and reciting rosaries every day? Or is it a warning to preachers, religion teachers, parents, priests, and religious people who talk much about the Bible, or they teach young and older adults about prayer and God? I should say yes. But I think that the warning is for all of us who often call on Him for help and presume that we are already in an intimate relationship with God. One Catholic blogger says that Matthew in today's gospel, warns us that even doing great things in his name without living out the gospel in one's own life provides no guarantee of being in or remaining in friendship with God. So whether we perform ordinary or extraordinary good works, our attitude must be not one of, look what I have done, but Look what Jesus has done through me. That is, humbly acknowledging that whatever good work we do is just an accomplishment of the task God has assigned us to do. It is part of our calling to bring to completion the will of God for us. Every second of every minute, every hour and every day, and allow God to do great things through us. If you are prayerful and have much time for God, praise Him for this grace. If you happen to be a good preacher of the Word of God, that too is a God-given talent we can never be proud of. Not even when people admire and praise us for being holy and an excellent example to others. 
because what counts in the eyes of God is to live a life that is pleasing to Him and not what pleases the eyes of the people around us. May the admonition of St. Paul to the Hebrews also be for us to consider as he asks the God of peace to equip them with everything good so that they may do His will and that which is pleasing in His sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day. Music